we want our members to be able to come into our site and we want them to take a lesson as if they were reading the book five lessons. It's probably the most read book ever made by anyone, right? Right, right. Um, so everyone's, everyone's read it. Okay. So the start is the grip. Yeah. So, and, so, and Hogan, when that was serialized in Sports Illustrated, those chapters came out and, and he wanted them to be able to focus on one thing. We couldn't read ahead. Would have been nice to, to experience it when the book came out as the serialized stuff because you wouldn't know what the next chapters were going to reveal, but he forced everybody to focus for a week or however long it was on the grip. So you're saying it came out in sections? Yeah, and then it was assembled into the book. So it was came out at, in uh, Sports Illustrated first as a serialized thing. Do you see that, Terry? Chapter one. Chapter one was the grip. So, so I'll turn to the side, just like just like uh, Hogan's showing me from behind. And his grip is coming across there. And there's, this callus pad is actually under the shaft and pinched down like this. You feel it, you feel it, like a ridge, like a little Himalayas there. Yeah, when I, pre when I played and practiced all the time, it, it was a ridge. Yeah, okay. So if I've got this, and that should be basically how the book uh, this shows is how, it. This is how you've gripped your whole life. Anyway, after you read five lessons. Anyway, right. Well, right. Yeah, that's right. So anyways, it's in here, and you've got, I mean, you don't feel like it's comfortable because you've got this chunk of meat that's, that's sort of pinched between pinched your fingers. There. It's natural to feel like that. That feels more comfortable. But once you've got that, then, then you've got it in there. And then you've got this, this butt pad here, and you've got that. It's, it's pressing down. It's not covering it right up, but it's pressing down. It's pressing so there's, down on it. So there's with that. this hand, he's, he's talking about... Controlling it with the middle fingers. Yeah, so if you've got that, and then even in that... Uh, so we put it on like that, and now you're going to do the... Now you're going to wrap around, right? Yeah. You're going to be on top. Now he's, he's got the pinky sort of hooked around. Yeah. You see that? So this now is... Of course, the, this Hogan, is the, the Hogan's the holding... His whole, you know, his whole deal was all about the grip. In other words, when Jackie Burke talked about it yesterday when we shot Jackie Burke. Hogan never won a tournament for his first seven years on tour, and then he moved his thumb like a quarter of an inch and then changed his whole deal. Yeah. So you, you know how important it was for Hogan right. to get his grip yeah. exactly the way he wanted it, right? And, and basically, you're setting it up. It's basically setting up for a fade grip. It's a fader's grip. Well, and that being said, it's because that the, the right hand rides on top of the shaft so well, right. and the left does not set to the right of the shaft. It sets more, more or less on top. I'll right. point it to you. Okay. Right. Now I got my hands on the golf club right here, like this. Right. Now that looks like it's it's slightly hooded. Now or watch. Slightly turned in, towed okay. in. Okay. Now watch. All I've done is extended my hands. What the blade do? It opened. It kicked back. It fell back to the right. That's right. Went square. So I used to do that. I used to sit there, get my hands on, and then I'd go like like that. And I go, oh, okay, now that now I got it. Now I got it. Now I can sit there. So let's see what it looks like in the finished product. Turn it right. Let me see. Yeah, so if you were really checking things, it's just the V is put it down steady. So it, it's right on it's right on your left eye, basically. Right on your nose to left eye. Yeah, so that's it. And uh, and uh, like I said, I used to do that check. And it seems uh, seems a uh, a simple check, but I mean, if you're relaxed down here, okay, and then you and then you push it out a bit, the blade tends to go like that, and that's what happens when you swing too, right? Because that blade is pulling. Yeah. So those are those are little checks that I would make, and that helped me align. So now I go, oh, okay, now I, now I see the condition that this is going to be when the when the the pull of the club head is 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 part it's of the deal. thrown out. Everything's yeah. interpretation, but that's your interpretation, and that's. That's how you played, right? And that's how your interpretation so, of the Hogan grip. Those are the things that I that I thought about, and they all came from that book.